Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Terraria Blind. As always, this is Ray. We're going to get going here, and this is not going to be a grindy episode. Well, at least I'm not um, expecting it to be a grindy episode. Uh, last few episodes have been quite interesting to even just render them out. Uh, I've had to chop quite a few of them down into smaller pieces and render them because of all the speed ups. So, hopefully we won't have that problem with these. Um... When we left off, we're gonna get some get some potions made. Let's go for our current stock of potions and see what we want. Mm, need some more more big potions. I have eighty or uh, twenty one of those. And yeah, let's. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to use all of them, but I have. Quite a few, so I'll just leave that for now. How am I holding a glow stick? That's weird. Huh. Whatever. Alright, I don't need that. Hmm. That might come in handy. And let's see. Definitely want some of that. Uh, that might come in handy as well. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And definitely want that. Uh, let's see, what else were we going to make here? Let's just go through our availables. I do know I want to make the goldfish stew thing. I remember that too. So, let's see. Holy water. Yeah, it's greater healing potion. I'll have the pixie desk. Ain't gonna have lava. Um, I got the iron skin. For the fall, speed lunker, invisibility, shine, night owl, battle, thorns, which I already have. Don't need to walk on water. Hunter, gravitation. So that's pretty much all of them right there. A fishbowl. Huh, interesting. So, need to know. Goldfish was a bowl, and what else was it? Oh, heard a fallen star somewhere. Where's my goldfish? Smile at me, goldfish. I know I had some of you. Where'd you go? Yes, I can hear you guys already. You should organize your stuff. You'd be able to find it. Wooden arrow, shut up. Make a fun of me again. Okay, I know I had some goldfish, dang it. Is my inventory? Am I just blind? No. Huh. Strange. Oh, there they are. Alright, I just gotta remember what the hell to make these things. And hopefully for you guys that the, the choice of music wasn't wasn't too bad for you. Bowl of soup. A bowl, a mushroom, and a goldfish. Simple enough. And bowls probably gonna need clay. I believe I put my clay in here, didn't I? Dirt clay block. And go through the crafting here. Bowl. Eight bowls. Which is a good thing because I really can't make any more. <laughs> and some mushrooms. I need the cooking pot for that, right? That's down here. Scrolling, scrolling. Bowl of soup. Alright. So we've got a few potions here. Got a bed. Need some walls to make a, a spawn area, don't I? Let's go down and get the walls from this this thing down here. That I left them behind. <laughs> I have a couple of you comment that uh, I probably should have made uh, just kind of dug down. And I thought of that. I just didn't really feel like doing it that way. I wanted to be able to uh, not have to swim to get to the bottom area. And I wanted my torches too. So, And uh, yes, magic mirror is always three now, if you hadn't noticed. Because uh, that kind of scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's put 
this extra stuff away. Put the mushrooms away. Put that on my bar. Got stone and stone walls. That should be good for that. Alright. Maybe stack some of this ores and stuff that I don't need to take with me. Like that. And some silk and maybe some cobweb. I've got the bombs. I don't need the hooks with me right now. I got wood forever. Picked up a few gels too, harvesting that stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to test something. Let's see. I'm gonna see if that leaves lava behind after I grab it. Let me break you down. I'm trying to click on the door, it won't let me through. <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt the bunnies. And no, it does not appear to leave lava behind. So that answers that question. Good to know. So that ore can go in the other chest. Alright. No, apparently that ore isn't in the other chest, so we'll just put some in there. Fire Blossom, put you in there. With my other stuff. Fire Blossom. I want to get bones too, that armor that was pretty pretty neat looking. I don't know. I need to break this down, don't I? Break down the platform. But yeah. Um, I'll set a comment on finding finding the water. That was that was very lucky. <laughs> the uh, infinite water thing. I just was happening to dig and dig down, and I'd kind of noticed that there was water on top of it, but I didn't think that it would actually go anywhere. But apparently, if it's short enough, it will. If it's a short enough drop, it will flow and actually give you more than what you started with. So not logical. It is kind of a bug. Um, honestly, I think that would have been considered not a spoiler because it's a bug. But only because it's a bug. So, I don't know. There's that too. So It didn't matter. I figured it out either way. So let's go through here. Hopefully fight some... Well, not some bunny rabbits. <laughs> Fight some uh, gels on the way over. Who knows? I might actually f run into a meteorite again, like I did last time, because there was one that fell, wasn't there? I don't remember. It's been a while. You can definitely tell it's been a while since I've actually played on this, because I recorded. Last time I played, I recorded two and a half hours, which is the longest I've ever played this game in one sitting, because of all the grindy stuff. Uh, I had a goal to get hellstone bars and I pretty much didn't quit until I got the hellstone bars <laughs> so yeah played two and a half hours and it only ended up about a mm, little over an hour and a half, a little around hour and a half episodes because of the speed up and again I knew I was gonna probably end up speeding it up so and there's a lot of parts that I didn't talk as much because I knew that, and some of you guys were complaining about, hey, you shouldn't speed up so much. Well, I deliberately wasn't talking for most of it because I knew it would be speed up. And a lot of it was same old, same old stuff. I didn't want to bore you with it, but I didn't want you to miss anything either because, because I'm doing this completely blind. I don't want you to say, hey, where, where'd you get this, or where'd you get that, or did you figure this out, or that out, so... Wanted to make sure it was on camera too, so I figured that was a nice balance. Um, the last episode ended up pretty good because I had a lot more commentary because there was a lot of new stuff. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you're coming across new stuff, you're going to have more to say about it. And that's pretty much what happened. I kind of like how that rose makes my helmet gone. Although, I don't know what the new helmet will look like. That's another thing that's, I'm not really looking forward to. Oh, I don't need to go down here. Is, um,. Going back down and get more hellstone <laughs> because I need a lot more hellstone, not just like a small piddly amount. I need tons of it because I want to make the helmet. And I want to make the weapon, uh, both the melee and boomerang. 
I guess they're considered both melee, but whatever. And of course the, the pickaxe and the other stuff. Um, I was rewatching my last video too. And I'm not sure about one thing. Um, the nightmare pickaxe can harvest hellstone, but it didn't say anything on the new pickaxe if it could harvest hellstone. So I'm kind of curious if the upgraded axe isn't incapable of doing that. Oh, I get the gel. So that'll be one thing to test once we get that axe going for us. All right. Yeah, I actually had a lot more to talk about this time. I haven't had to had to be quiet for a big portion of this commute. This is our daily our daily commute to the new boss guys. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to work, did you? <laughs> oh lord. Yeah. Recording this before I go play some some stuff with some friends. I wanted to get this recorded ahead of time. So I actually recording this Saturday. Uh, I had just put up 30, episode 35, so it'll be a couple days before I actually put this episode out. Um, maybe it'll be one episode, maybe it'll be two. I have no idea. Depends. Um, a quick gamer. A little shout out to him. He uh, he commented that uh, apparently I went derp, I went stupid <laughs> when I came here last. Um, for some strange reason, I thought I couldn't keep going, and apparently, yeah, um, duh. There's no nothing that says I can't keep going through the back wall or over the top of that area. So uh, yeah, I probably would have done that had uh, I, that guy not said something about nighttime. I just kind of hang around because I wanted to to see what it was all about. And then once the boss came out, I ran home like a little little uh little sissy. So there's that. <laughs> that guy scared me pretty bad. I gotta lie. Can't play that off any other way. I was scared. I'll admit it. I was a little a little pissy man. Ran home to NPCs. Worm. Come on, wormy. Come on, big boy. Splat. I wanna kill these guys before. Did that poison them? They turned green. Oh, come here, I wanna check this out. Uh, didn't do anything to you. Oh, yeah, he turned green alright. I'm thinking that might be a, like a poison. The only thing I see turn green is poison in any other game. I don't know, there's no way to say, hey, are you poisoned? I don't think he'll he'll answer me if I ask him. What do you think? Yes, Ray, I poison. Rawr. I think be more the more likely answer from that question. Huh. Cool though. Wee. Yes, and now that I'm Spider Man I can go down those shafts a lot easier. Yeah, he's turning green every time. Well not every time. So I guess there's a chance for this weapon to, to poison them. That's pretty cool. Wonder if it works on bosses. Probably not. That'd be very overpowered. Just poison them and run away. Oops. Now another thing. Yeah, I just got lots of different things to bring up, don't I? Well, kind of happens when I haven't really done commentary for a few episodes. Um, I was looking over <laughs> the brief fight with this guy last time. A <laughs> very brief fight with this guy. And, <laughs> and uh, noticed that, yes, the different parts of him had different hit point values. So, based off past gaming experience, my strategy for the fight, I'm going to attack his arms first. Now, hopefully, they didn't decide to pull what some games do and make the arms regenerate. Um, but based off the massive hit point values I remember seeing on the arms, I don't think that's going to be the case. But you never know until you actually try it. Alright, we're here. Hmm need to build a house, but I don't want to build it right next to it, just in case the guy doesn't go away after he kills me. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be horrible. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you died, and you died, and you died. It'd be like the goblin army all over again. I'm, I'm, I'm good, I don't want that again. So we're going we're gonna to knock some stuff down here. And this time I'm going to do something different with this base. Um, it's going to be a little weird. 
I'm gonna build it up in the sky. Uh, because I have this, and I can just kind of grab it. And so I'm just gonna, every time I want to enter or exit, I'm just gonna hook my way up to it, and that's how I'll get inside. So, I'm gonna need some stone. And something died, apparently. And I want it to be where I can drop down and live. So we're just gonna build about there, I think. Okay, put a platform. Let's do a four wide platform. And stone block it. And let's climb up the wall like Spider-Man. That's really cool, I'm sorry. That will never get old. Bye bye. <laughs> and just dig all these stones out. And we'll block ourselves in and call it good. Whoa, leg like spike. Alright. The sun's getting ready to set, so let's try to get this up as quick as possible. One, two, three, four. Oops. What about that high? Build me a little house in the sky. And let's see, back walls. Block myself in. The only thing negative, I guess you can call about this, is uh, if at night, you know, those little eyes flying around, you can fly in here, but I don't think that's going to be as big of a deal. Because, uh, yeah, they're not really that hard to kill. Alright. Bed. Spawn point set. Alright. So we are ready. So if I die, which is most likely the outcome, <laughs> then uh, I won't have to run very far to get my stuff. In <sighs> that structure, I don't know if it's just the top part. I saw it went down a little bit. But uh, after we kill this guy, we'll go down and look. <laughs> so there's that too. Yay for plans. Alright, now I don't know how tall he gets, but... Hmm. Yeah, I should be able... Okay, that'll work. Yeah, it goes down a little bit. I see, like, the, the last time I could have just come over here and duck through the back wall. <laughs> but apparently I went brain fart stupid on you guys, so sorry for that. And there looks, there's the ocean. Wow. Well, he's cursed, but at least the guy has ocean side view, doesn't he? Lucky you. Wow. Look at that. Ocean. Alright, well. I can test my other theory later. Is, uh. Ouch. Hey, idiot. Pressure plate there. Derp a derp. Let's deactivate that, shall we? Yes, yes, we shall. What the hell is that? Is that a light switch? Oh, that's cool. We got indoor lighting, guys. How about that? It's fancy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Giggity, giggity. All right. One of these days, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do that, I think. All right. Get dark. Get dark, get dark. It's almost there. If I'd have brought my watch, I would have known. Oh man, I forgot to oh I forgot to bring my other stuff. I was gonna change out at least the flipper, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the flipper I was gonna change out for something with a little more defense. So I got twenty nine defense. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can increase it by eight, so I'll have thirty six. So that should help. Uh, swiftness potion. 
so that we can run around. Minor improvements to all stats. I wonder which stats it refers to, because the only stats I've seen are life, mana, and defense. But that is a 10 minute duration, so I can use it now. Okay, it gives me plus one defense. Uh, 60 mana, still 280 there, so, yeah. Don't know what other stats it may be referring to. Uh, I believe those are the same damage values from before, so. But we're going to do a lot of melee, I'm not, not melee, uh, ranged on this dude. Just because that's how I roll. My well-fed minor improvements to all stats. Yeah, no clue what stats those are. Whatever. No, it doesn't look tasty. So, uh, come on, get dark. Let me see how much of a collection we can rack up on this. Alright, regeneration, iron skin, swiftness, thorns. Alright, here we go. Okay, looks like he's got a little bit of a wind up there. Ugh. Over the over the thing. What the hell? Oh, apparently I switched it somehow. Big scary spinny head thing. Get the hands, man. Get the hands. What the hell are you doing? Run under him. Um... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one hand down. Ouch. Okay, apparently high defense is a really good thing. So I was correct in that assumption. Come on, hand. Come on, hand. Come on, hand. We get to see here if it decides to regenerate, huh? Ouch. Okay, it only hurts me for 11, so that's a good. Alright, run under that. Okay. Yeah, the higher defense definitely helps because last time he pretty much took 50 of my life in a couple of hits. That was not cool. Alright. I'm definitely looking for him to do something strange when he gets low on his life. Mainly because that's how all these bosses have rolled so far. Apparently he's a little too high up for me to reach him here. Come on, come on, get closer. There you go. Add a boy spinning skull. Alright. And yes, I'm going to use my chakram for all this. Alright. Uh, he's about a little half life. Come on, buddy. Do something special for me. Come on, there we go. Okay, I might need to hang over a little more over this way. Come on. Come on. Smackety, 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 smackety. Alright, well he didn't do anything special, so apparently the hands were the key to this fight. Sorry to disappoint you guys. I know you were looking forward to me getting my booty kicked. So, don't know where you went, old man. But, uh, your curse has been lifted. Well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, the upgraded armor definitely made the difference in that. So, I don't know. Do I want to go down, or do I want to go this way? Go explore the ocean. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know you can't answer me right now. Let's go down, because I've been in the ocean. I want to do something different today. Those leaves were not there before, so apparently they just kind of grow on their own. Um... Uh... Healing potion, okay. Let's grab a few books while we're here. Let's make some vanity items, right? Unless there's special purpose to Ooh, hello. What the 
the hell? Oh, ho, ho. quite nice. I have a magic spell, guys. How fancy is that? Hmm. Fancy, fancy. Sweet. Well, I'm glad I was trying to gather the books then. Well, it's not blood moon, so you can't come in. Haha. -ha. You stay over there. And it's hurtful water bolt, so it gives me extra damage. Cast a slow moving bolt of water. 14 mana. Quite a few magic damage. Hmm. It makes me wonder what other spells might I find in this area. So definitely be gathering these books. And then, oh, mythical water bolt. Um, what shall we get rid of? Let's get rid of the shurikens. Holy God! That is a very nice water bolt. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be keeping that one. Hopefully you don't fill up on too many of them. Alright, let's just slide our way down slowly. I'm kind of scared what kind of mobs are going to be here. And yes, I'm going to start keeping these mana potions because every time I end up wanting some. <laughs> and I want to kick myself in the butt for getting rid of those water potions that I had before. So, yeah. There's that. Books. Why do you keep pulling the hammer out? Oh, yeah, look, there's another lamp. Come on, jump into it. There you go. That's a good zombie. What the hell is that candle? It's blue! And we got a lamp. And a water candle. Um Yeah, I don't really need that, do I? Uh a light switch. Blink. Hello! Anybody home? I reading your books. <laughs> Is this like an old library? I don't know. I'm sure there's a name to it. Somebody will tell me in the comments, I'm sure. It looks like a giant underground library to me, though. So, oh yeah, what does that do, anyway? Ooh. Unwanted attention. This sounds like a... Like, increased mob spawns or something? I wonder if it stacks with that other one. That'd be cool. What the hell is this? 